Now let's add some fluids to the simulation. We're going to set this up in such a way that the RBD sim and the fluid sim will interact together. So earlier we created the wine, so we're going to select that wine geometry. We don't need to display it. We're just going to select it and make a fluid out of it. And it adds it to the auto dot network, and you see that the fluid is basically a series, uh, a bunch of points that have been added into here. And we can create a smaller separation between them to create a greater density of points to get a little more accuracy into the simulation. And there's the flip solver there, which has sub steps and other things uh, available. And you can go into this and set the kind of motion that you want. And things like, do I want to add an ID particle? Um, do I want to reseed the particles? I don't think we want to do that here. And we want to create a swirly type of velocity transfer to get the sort of look we want for this small scale uh, fluid. And then we're going to enable surface tension and make it quite dense. Um, this wine glass is actually quite big for the scene that we have here. Um, if we were to be accurate for scale. Um, so we're just, some of these numbers might be a little bigger than they normally would because the wine glass is so big. Uh, press play to begin the simulation. The bullet comes in. And we see the fluid. And the fluid's interacting with the shards of glass. And getting the look that we want there. Now we don't need to simulate that much given what we're doing here. Our goal is to only simulate maybe around 10 frames uh, because we're going to use the retiming later to, to scale that back. But we can just go a couple extra frames here and get a feel for that. And once we get that out, say frame 11, we can go back. And if we go back into the wine fluid here, this is where the geometry is. Uh, we can click the display flag on the render and it will actually give us the surfaced version of the fluids and we can see that at various points here in the sim. Of course that's the part of, that's what we're going to render down the line. So that's taking all those points and adding a surface to it that changes over time and you know creates these tendrils of fluid uh, 